Hey problem solvers, hey thinkers, welcome to social studies. Uh, now, last social studies lesson, Megan talked to you about identity and exploring the things that make us who we are. Now today, we're gonna to be talking about diversity. Now, some people use the word tolerate to talk about diversity and differences but I don't like that word, which is why you see it's crossed out. Tolerating sort of means, ah, I don't like this, but I guess I'm gonna be okay with it or I'll ignore it. We're gonna talk about how, how diversity and differences should be respected and valued, not just tolerated. Now, these are our objectives the things for us to focus on today. And I hope that when our lesson is done, you will feel confident about each of these skills and ideas. Let's read them. I like knowing people who are like me and different from me, and I treat each person with respect. I want to know more about other people's lives and experiences, and I know how to ask questions respectfully and listen carefully and non-judgmentally. I have accurate, respectful words to describe how I am similar to and different from people who share my identities and those who have other identities. Okay? <sighs> what does diversity mean? What would you say is the definition of diversity? Think about it. What is one word that comes to your mind when I say diversity? Diversity, when we're talking about people, simply means different kinds of people together. We know that identity can include a lot of different things, and so can diversity. Diversity is a uh, group of, in a group can be people of different races, people who speak different languages, people who practice different religions, people who have different strengths, all sort of differences. Make sense? Now, I want to talk to you about a time that you felt different? How did you feel? Did you feel empowered to be proud of your difference? Or were you made to feel ashamed or embarrassed about your difference? <sighs> A lot of people seem to think that different equals bad in some way. It's sort of like when a kid, like a little kid, says, ew, I don't like that, when their mom offers them something new that they've never tried before, <laughs> even though they've never tried it, so they can't really know if they like it or not. Now, that sounds a little silly when we're talking about it in the context of little kids eating food, but it can be really hurtful when talking about people, the differences between people. Now, three really important messages of our lesson today are, even with all of the differences between us, we still have a lot in common. Differences are important. Accepting and appreciating differences is a way to be respectful. And it's okay to talk about differences as long as we do it respectfully. We're going to get into that. Now let's take a look at Sean here. He's a fictional character, which means a made up character. I want to take a look and think about things that we have in common with Sean and things that we may not have in common with Sean. Let's read about him. 
Sean is a student with autism. He is super knowledgeable about sports teams and players and schedules. Pizza and french fries are his favorite foods. When he gets nervous, when everyone watches him in PE, Sean blurts out in class a lot. Now, one difference I can see about me and Sean is that he's very knowledgeable about sports teams and I know nothing <laughs> about sports teams. But I also see that pizza is one of his favorite foods and it's absolutely one of my favorite foods. So even though I wouldn't want to talk to Sean about sports teams, he and I can absolutely have a conversation about our favorite pizza toppings or our favorite places to get pizza, that kind of thing. So even though there's a lot of things different about me and Sean, I'm really glad that I was able to find something in common so that we would be able to spend time together. Now, take a moment right now to pause and get a piece of paper and a writing utensil because I'm going to ask you to write something and bring it to Zoom class. So take a moment, pencil or a pen, any writing utensil and a paper. Go, go grab it. Did you get it? Did you get it? Pause the video if you don't have one yet, but I'm gonna move on. Now I'm going to show you three more examples of fictional characters just like this. And I want you to write down for each of them one similarity you have to this person and one difference between you and this person. So one difference and one similarity for each of the three fictional characters. Ready? <sighs> Pavani is a new student who just moved here from another state. She was born in India and her family is the most important thing to her. She is responsible for helping take care of her little sister a lot. Pavani is super good at math, but struggles with spelling. She likes going to temple, playing on her phone, and painting. So on that piece of paper you have, please write down one thing that is different between you and Pavani, and one thing that you have in common. I'll give you a moment to do that as I sip my coffee. All right, if you need more time, pause the video now because I'm going to move on, but there's no rush. Do this at your own pace. When you're ready, I'm gonna to go to the next slide. Mr. Johnson is one of the teachers at school. He's left-handed and learning how to play the guitar. Mr. Johnson wants to eat healthy, but has fast food a few nights a week. He goes to a Baptist church with his mom once a month. He has a goal to travel to at least two other countries. So again, take a moment and write down one difference and one similarity. I'm going to give you one moment. All right, again, pause the video if you need more time. I'm not rushing you. That's what the pause button is for. And when you are ready, press play. I'm going to move on to the next slide. The last person I would like you to write about is, if we go back, our buddy, Sean. So I'll reread it really quick. Sean is a student with autism. He is super knowledgeable about sports teams and players and schedules. Uh, pizza and French fries are his favorite foods. And he gets nervous when everyone watches him in PE. Sean blurts out in class a lot. So again, take some moments, write down one difference and one similarity that you have with Sean.
if you need to reread any of those three passages, you may use a little bar at the bottom of the video to move um, to the part of the video that you need to see again. Um, if you need more time to write these down, take it before coming to Zoom. When you are done, go ahead and log into Zoom and we're going to continue our conversation about diversity. All right, sounds good. Bye.